But the first one that I wanted to highlight is a large uh, study, a phase three study that was done for uh, for patients with a relapsed Hodgkin's, um, Hodgkin's uh, lymphoma. It's a study that was done and was led by Dr. Craig Moskowitz at our center. Uh, it had a, a total of 329 uh, patients. And um, at this meeting, we will hear what the outcomes are. When they did the following thing, they used a new drug called Brentoximab, which is an anti-CD30 antibody, and added that to uh, patients who were getting an auto, an uh, uh, autologous bone marrow transplant for their uh, relapsed uh, Hodgkin's. Uh, we're very uh, curious what these uh, results uh, will be. This was picked as a highlight of ASH. So at this meeting, we will hear what the final outcomes are. The next uh, topic that I wanted to uh, touch on is also actually an abstract from Dr. Craig Moskowitz. Um, it's a phase one study with a new uh, category of drugs. These are drugs that are called uh, checkpoint blockade uh, drugs. Uh, what they do is they... Um, they block the blockers of the uh, T cells. So T cells are, of course, uh, cells that are part of the white blood cell system, part of the uh, immune system, and have been shown in a number of uh, cancers that if you unleash them, if you get rid of the things that are blocking them, that they can be very powerful as anti-cancer uh, therapies. It has been shown, for instance, for a lung cancer. Um, and this same compound now, so this anti-PD-1 antibody, has now been uh, tested in a phase one study for Hodgkin's, uh, again, relapsed Hodgkin's uh, lymphoma, and has uh, shown uh, that it's relatively safe and that um, in these early studies that there are some positive data that it might be uh, working, actually. So at this meeting, we're going to hear the latest update of uh, how well this kind of new strategy for dealing with a relapsed um, Hodgkin's is going to work. The third one that I wanted to um, touch on is um, a new class of drugs, um, and this drug is called AG221. Um, it's a drug that blocks a metabolic enzyme uh, called IDH2. It has been shown in specifically patients with AML, but also other types of um, the hematological uh, cancers, that uh, mutated forms of um, IDH2 can um, be a target as a therapy for these types of uh, cancers. So this drug will block IDH2 and in that way block the process of the epigenetic uh, changes uh, that are uh, coming from, an, from a high level of this enzyme in these cancer cells. Um, so this is again a phase one study um, and it shows again that the drug is relatively safe and even in the early data it shows already uh, that when they looked at 48 uh, patients, that about 20 of them had already some uh, responses, which is, of course, for a phase one study, very rare that you see that already in a study that is mostly focused on just testing safety. The final um, series of abstracts that I want to focus on, two abstracts actually, um, are going to the area where we have been working on over the last years um, a lot and that is looking at CAR, uh, CAR T-cells. CAR T-cell stands for chimeric antigen, antigen receptor uh, T-cells. So this is a completely novel therapy, a cell therapy, where we're using a gene, a gene that can um, be put into a T-cells to arm them to uh, recognize certain antigens and therefore make a T-cells much more uh, powerful in their effort to kill uh, cancer cells. Um, so this has been specifically done against a molecule called CD19. Um, and at this meeting, we're going to give an update about the very promising results with carbon T-cells for ALL, acute, lympho um, acute lymphocytic uh, leukemia. Um, and what we're showing now already, but we're going to see the latest data, of course, at the ASH meeting, is that about 18 out of 20 uh, patients, patients who had a relapsed ALL, a high-risk ALL, can be brought back with this kind of strategy, with giving these CAR positive T cells, can be brought back into a complete, uh, uh, in, into a complete uh, remission, which then can function as a bridge towards an allogeneic bone marrow uh, uh, transplant. So this is again a very promising uh, strategy, uh, which we're now also using in some new studies um, as an add-on to an auto uh, transplant that we're doing for certain uh, lymphomas. So, high-risk uh, lymphoma uh, patients, 
um, are now getting upfront immediately after their auto a transplant also these same CD19 CAR cells. Um, and the early data um, are going to be shown also for about six patients. We see again the same types of uh, toxicities that we have seen so far with the CAR cells, which is, uh, which is very specifically a cytokine storm, cytokine called IL-6. However, we have developed uh, protocols to deal with that. Um, so we get these patients through that phase. Um, and at this meeting, we're going to hear what the outcomes are with this first phase one study to use CAR T cells after an auto a transplant for a CD19 positive uh, lymphoma.